Hi, I'm Jeff with Precision Replacement Parts. I'm here with Greg today. We're going to be working on his 1965 Ford Mustang. Greg, what are we doing? We will be installing our back glass gasket WCR 3299. Fits a 1964 to 68 Ford Mustang, two door hardtop. Make sure you check our website for complete make, mile, year information. Let's get started. These are the tools you need for this project. All right, now what we're gonna do is take our chrome clip tool and we're gonna work the clips underneath the chrome and releasing it. Off, so I'm gonna scratch the body. Okay. All right, with this particular gasket installation, this chrome on the lower portion of the back glass got glued into place and I'm having a hard time releasing it from the clips. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the gasket from the back glass on the outside on the top three sides. I'm going to tip the glass out and then lift it out of the bottom so I can remove the gasket, thus revealing the clips and the chrome. So we start by cutting the gasket off to expose the edge of the glass. Take our windshield installation stick and actually cutting that seal between the glass and the gasket on the inside. It feels like the, gas, the glass is getting pretty loose. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. Okay. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the seal on the bottom. I'll reach inside, lift the glass up. Now with the glass out of the way, we're just going to remove our gasket. Getting the gasket out of the way for that lower chrome, now we're able to take our clip tool and work these clips for the bottom chrome.
Yeah, this is really glued in. Well, that was a chore. A lot of installers will think that extra sealant will help it keep it from leaking, but it just doesn't help the next guy. You always want to put enough sealer to seal the glass and the gasket to the body. It's never designed sealer to hold the chrome onto the car. That's what the clips are for. Now we're ready for installation the back glass, so we're going to go ahead and put the gasket onto the glass. On this particular gasket we have two grooves. We have the glass groove, we also have the pinch weld groove that's located next to the ceiling fins. On this particular gasket you also notice that there's a wider flange on one of the four surfaces. That goes along the bottom of the glass for the package tray. We'll start in the lower corner. We're going to start in the lower corner, get the corner started, and what we'll, our process is to start it on the underneath side of the glass and to roll it up onto the glass. We're going to get about halfway across and then we'll put our other two corners in. Okay, go up the side now. I don't know if this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Start from where my hand is, or bring it over, yep. The corner not seem to be on. I'm just pulling it a little bit, but once we get down, it'll be okay. Right here. Oh, right. Now we'll turn it over to ensure that we're all set onto the glass. Alright, now we'll turn it back over and insert the rope. Now we're going to go ahead and install the rope into the pinch weld groove. We're starting in the middle of the bottom of the glass. Okay, you want to take it? I got this. Okay, I'll take it right after you're around the corner. Perfect. Now when we get back to where we started, what we're going to do is we're going to go past that and overlap it. Bring the tool out on the glass. Tape it in place. Now that the rope is installed, we'll take some non-hardening sealant and we're going to apply it to the sealing fins of our gasket. You want to have about an eighth, maybe a quarter inch tip cut to apply this sealant. This is to keep the water out of the vehicle. All right, we're going to set the glass into the opening. We aren't trying to install it at this time. We're just going to set it down. Make sure we work it past our clips. And now we'll move inside. All right, we're gonna to check to make sure we have our glass centered inside the opening by looking at the spacing we have here. And we'll go ahead and install. We'll start by pulling our rope. Jeff has light pressure on the outside. We pull our rope in, we're bringing that flange of the gasket over the pinch weld.
keeping the rope parallel with the glass makes it easier to pull it in. I'm going to get to the corner. I'm going to make a circular motion to help pull that gasket around so I don't tear it. Take your time with that extra lip on there to make sure that does not get torn. Now take that cup, Jeff, and pull it towards you as much as you can. Okay, that's good. Just wanted to make sure it's all the way that way. So I'm pulling the rope of it. I'm making sure that that gasket is coming around the pinch weld. down. Keep pulling it. Almost there. Make sure that goes in the gasket now. Yeah, I'll need a stick to come back and push it up. Okay. It's, it's over the edge. I think it'll be okay. All right. Sometimes what happens when you rope it in, that starts pulling into the inside too much and it's kind of sitting weird on the glass. So take your weather strip insulation tool, be careful not to jam it into the actual sealant. And just run it along and it'll push the gasket back up on the glass where it needs to be. Now we have the glass installed into the car. What we're going to do is we're put a urethane curing adhesive between the glass and the gasket. Now we've cut about an eh, eighth to a quarter inch tip off of this one. And the reason we doing, we're doing this, Greg, is for what? The water does not enter the vehicle. Installation tool and mm -hmm. pull that gasket back onto that glass. Where? The tip is very
and clean up the ooze out from the urethane here. Tip is to wear two pairs of gloves. So if you get something on the outside pair, you just take them off and you still have another pair on. So you need a razor blade and some foaming glass cleaner and some paper towels. And go ahead and use the foaming glass cleaner and spray. And take your razor blade along the edge and clean up any ooze out you have. And you repeat that process along the whole back glass until you are done. All right, we've got everything all sealed up. We're going to go ahead and install the chrome and get the locking lip behind the clips. You're looking on your side, your corner is sitting pretty good. Mm, Gotta come my way here. Go ahead. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, now we start the middle one. Got our top installed. We're going to continue down inserting the sides up into the corners. And the lower, we're going to just kind of line up with our sides. Bring it down. Again, making sure that locking lip is between the clips and the body. Bring it way down, way down. Okay, perfect, yeah. Go ahead and clip your side in there. Now we got the chrome all in, all we have to do is some final cleanup and you're done.